In this Bybit tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to short and long Bitcoin and different altcoins with leverage. As you can tell by the length of this video, this is going to be a fully completed tutorial with all of the different functionalities that Bybit offers. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. For example, stop loss, a trailing stop loss, mutual insurance, and much, much more. I'm also going to show you how you can get $200 bonus exclusively for everyone who's watching this tutorial. The only thing you need to do is go below this video to the pinned comment and click this link. But now let's get right into the exciting stuff. I want to show you how you can use Bybit in a profitable and responsible way. And if you think that that sounds interesting, then I think this should definitely this video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I'm going to bring you this full and complete Bybit tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all of the things that you need to know about Bybit so you don't have to watch any other videos. And let's get right into it. First, a small intro to Bybit. It is becoming the most popular derivatives trading exchange in Bitcoin and altcoins because of its great customer service and the fact that they have very, very high liquidity and uh, it's a very smooth trading experience basically. Bybit was launched in 2018. They have 15,000 daily active traders or 1.5 million registered users. And according to data from SKU, we can see that Bybit has the best liquidity out of all of these exchanges because uh, we can see the spread between bid and ask is the lowest on Bybit compared to BitMEX, FTX, Huobi, and Binance and all these others. But I will make a full review of Bybit towards the end of this video, but first I want to do a tutorial here. And by the way guys, did you know that if you click this like button, it turns blue? Amazing stuff. Try it out right now. And let me just take a few seconds to explain how to get the bonus. You go down below this video in the pinned comment, you can get $200 bonus. And if there is a bigger bonus available, you will find it in the pinned comment. It is still the same link. If you find a code below this video, just click my link, just go up here, click promotions, and then you click rewards hub. Then you scroll down to voucher code. Here you enter the voucher code and then you click redeem. Let's get back into the tutorial. So first of all, here you have the trading view of Bybit. You have the chart here where you can see the Bitcoin price. Here you have the order book. And down here you can see all of the most recent trades on the market. And down here is where our positions will be located as soon as we've opened a position. Uh, we will have our active orders and conditional orders. I'm going to go through all of this in just a few minutes. And up here is where you can choose all of your different uh, contracts that you want to trade. You have inverse perpetual contracts and USDT perpetual. I'm going to explain to you what this means in also just a few minutes. Let's start with the logical first step, how to register an account. The first step to register an account is to go down below this video into the pinned comment here. This is the link that you need to click if you want to get $200 bonus after depositing 0.2 Bitcoin. A part of this bonus will come from the rewards hub. And like I just showed you, if you go to promotions and click rewards hub, then you will end up on this page. And here you will find some fun tasks that you can go through to get these additional bonuses. But make sure that you click this specific link below this video. This will take you over to this screen. Just enter your email, enter your password and click register. The nice thing about Bybit is that they don't require KYC. Many other exchanges, they require you to upload a passport with your face and everything. But to register on Bybit, you need one email, one password. It takes literally no more than 20 seconds to register and go over to Bybit, deposit some Bitcoin and start trading. All right, let's take a look at how to make a trade on Bybit. First of all, when you go up here to trade, you can see we have perpetual contracts. You have inverse perpetual and USDT perpetual. And the difference between them two is the margin that you use for these positions. So basically, what is the underlying asset uh, backing up this position? So the inverse perpetual is coin margin. Basically, it's uh, margined by Bitcoin, Ethereum, EUS, or XRP if these are the ones that you are trading. However, if you're trading the 
USDT perpetual, it is USDT margin, which means that it's USDT, which is the underlying um, asset behind these pairs. So how can we choose between these two? Well, the coin margin pairs here, they are more for you who are more bullish on Bitcoin, because when you're trading with Bitcoin as the underlying asset, then you will always make more Bitcoin on all of your profitable positions. And on the USDT pair, you're always trading with USDT, so you will make more USDT. And if you think Bitcoin can go down a lot, then, well, it makes maybe more sense to trade with the USDT, because if Bitcoin goes down to zero, and you're shorting, then you're only making more of zero. I mean, you don't wanna make more money um, of something that is going down in value. Personally, for example, when I trade Bitcoin, I tend to stick with the coin margin here. But if you wanna short an altcoin that you're sure is going to go down a lot in value, then you might as well go to USDT Perpetual here. A disclaimer here is that when you use my link, you receive a bonus and I receive a bonus. This is only for experienced traders, but it's important important to note that this video is not sponsored. This is an exchange that I personally use. It is my favorite exchange. That's why I make this tutorial for you guys. To deposit Bitcoin on Bybit, go up and click your name up here and then you click my assets. And over here, you just simply click deposit and then you deposit Bitcoin to this address. You can also deposit Ethereum, EOS, XRP and USDT. If you click up here, you can even exchange Bitcoin for you. USDT or any other coin here. I'm gonna show you later in this video how to do this. But let me now show you how to trade using the uh, inverse perpetual, which is the exact same you will find on BitMEX and most other competitors. USDT is something that you find uh, on Binance and uh, maybe a couple of other exchanges. But the by far most popular way to trade Bitcoin is this inverse perpetual. All right, first of all, up here we can see that the available balance that I have currently is two Bitcoin. And we can make limit orders, market orders, conditional orders, and we have cross and isolated margin. I'm gonna show you exactly what this means. But first of all, let's take a look at the limit and market order here. First of all, big difference is that when you use a limit order, you will get a fee rebate. Basically, you get money back for using it. When you use the market order, you pay a fee. Why is this? Well, in the order book here, you can see many different limit orders being stacked here. You can see quantity here. These are all limit orders waiting to get filled. And the more limit orders we have here, the higher the liquidity. And uh, basically Bybit wants to um, incentivize people to put in limit orders here to increase the order book, to make it more liquid. And uh, when you use the market order, you're just taking liquidity out of the market by just uh, taking the best price available at the any given time. Using a limit order is also called as being the market maker because you're making the market. Market order is called a market taker because you're taking out of the markets. Also important to note is that when you use the market order, you will be guaranteed to get into a position. That's kind of the price you pay for getting a guaranteed position. When you use the limit order, it's not necessarily guaranteed. So uh, let me just show you here how to make a limit order. Let's say we wanna buy Bitcoin when Bitcoin goes down to this level here at $13,150. Well, we click limit and we enter in $13,150. And let's say we wanna buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin at that uh, point. And here we're trading contracts. So this is 1,000 US dollar contracts, you can say. And uh, well, we have to adjust our leverage here. We can choose anything from 1x up to 100x. Obviously, 100x leverage is uh, very, very rarely going to be a recommended strategy. I would say going somewhere between two up to 10x leverage is uh, uh, more reasonable. Let's say we want to do 5x leverage. Well, we can see down here that the order value will now be 0 0.076 Bitcoin. If we execute this, the available balance, like I said, is 2 Bitcoin. And here we can also see that we can buy with a take profit and a stop loss. This is very, very nice that Bybit is making it so easy for us. Let's say we want to take profits at $14,000. Uh, and we want to have a stop loss below our entry. So let's say 12.9,000, 12,900. It's always, always recommended to have a stop loss. We can also use these features here where you click 75% profit or 100% profit, but uh, I suggest it's better to just uh, make a manual 
decision here. And if we go down, we can see that we can buy long or we can sell short here. But obviously, we are doing a long position. And uh, also very important, when you make a limit order, make sure to post only here. This makes sure that your limit order will remain a limit order because we want to get the fee rebate. If you don't click post only, uh, there is a risk that your limit order might get triggered as a market order if the limit order is very close to the price. So if you're using limit orders, I see no reason not to put post only and reduce only uh, will only reduce your position, not increase it. If this order would increase your position, it is amended down or canceled such that it does not. All right, so if we click buy long here, we will see that 0.015 Bitcoin is what we will use from our available balance to open this position, which has a full order value of 0.07. But the reason why this order value is so much higher is because we're on 5x leverage. So if you take our initial margin here times five, you get the full order value. So if you click buy long here, we can see the order price. This is where we are going to enter in. Here is the full order value. Here's the order cost. But remember, it says order cost, but this is not a fee. This is just your Bitcoin that you are using to open up this position. The available balance is two Bitcoin. This is our leverage. And this is the position size, a thousand contracts. Take profit, stop loss. This is the current price of Bitcoin, the mark price. And this price comes from the average of many different exchanges to give a, um, a smooth and safe price. And here is the very, very important part here. Liquidation price. At $11,004, we will be liquidated. And the liquidation price is a consequence of the uh, the leverage. The higher the leverage, the closer the liquidation price will be to our entry price. So basically, the higher the leverage, the higher the risk. But if we are fine with this liquidation price, then we can go ahead and confirm. A very, very important thing is to always have a stop loss before the liquidation price so you don't get liquidated. Because when you get liquidated, you lose your whole position. When when you get stopped out, you are um, saving yourself from, um, from losing the rest of your position. So let's click confirm. And if you find value in this video, feel free to click share. You can share it on Facebook, on Twitter. You can copy this link and share with family and friends. And if you have a website and you want to use my tutorial on your website, you can click embed here to embed this tutorial on your site. All right, so now the position is uh, there. However, you don't see it here. We have to go under active because remember, this is a limit order. It is now waiting in the order book to get triggered, but it's not going to be open yet. Let's say we don't want to open this we can just cancel but very very interesting here is that uh, here you have our position at 13,150 as soon as Bitcoin goes down here we will get um, this position opened but something that is very very convenient on Bybit is that you can drag and drop this uh, here you can see I just dragged it up and now we will enter at 13,290 you can drag it down again down to 13.2 uh, so essentially you don't have to do this procedure again. You can just drag and drop. I love this feature that Bybit has. All right, but if you wanna cancel this, you could just click cancel here. And let me now show you how to make a market order. Just go up here to market and it's the same procedure. Let's say we wanna make a 10X leverage and we wanna make, uh, let's say 2000 contracts worth, $2,000 worth. And we wanna have a um, take profit at, uh, let's say 15,000 and uh, we wanna have a stop loss below the price. And currently the price is at 13,700. Let's say our stop loss is at $13,500. And then we just go down here and click buy. And of course, if we wanna sell, we can do that. Also, we can make a short position. And in that case, the take profit has to be, of course, below the price, maybe say 12,000. And the stop loss has to be above the price, let's say 15,000 like this. So then just click sell or short and here we can see that the uh, liquidation price will be at 15,162. So it's good that we have a stop loss here before the liquidation price like we just talked about. And uh, we have 10x leverage and let's just click confirm. And there you go. 
Now we have a position open here, a short position of 2,000 contracts. The liquidation price, you can see there. Here is the unrealized profit and loss. We're currently at $1 profit here, uh, but this will go up and down as you can see here. And let me also show you how to make a conditional order up here. Why do you wanna make it conditional? Well, let me show you when to use these conditional orders. Let's say the price goes up like this, and then the price forms this triangle. Well, at the end of the triangle, we know for sure that we're gonna see either a massive move up or a massive move down. The only thing we don't know is the direction. What you can do in this case is you can actually put a conditional order right there to buy and a conditional order right there to sell. And this means that automatically, no matter what happens, you will be entered into a position here no matter what direction uh, the price goes. So let's see here. If we click conditional, let's say we want to make a limit conditional and we want to buy Bitcoin when Bitcoin goes above $14,000. We have to put the trigger price here at 14,000 and uh, you can just click buy long and click confirm and there you go. Now we have a conditional order up here and we will trigger a limit order when Bitcoin goes above there. And if you wanna put a limit order to sell, when we go down below, let's say 13,000, just to make this um, very easy to understand. 13,000, we put 13,000, and then we sell short, and then click confirm, and there you go. No matter what happens now, we will get entered into a position there. But obviously, that was a limit order. If you wanna guarantee to uh, be entered into position, you should use the market order. And uh, then you just put the trigger price, um, whatever you wanna put it. Let's say, yeah, 14,000, we wanna buy, click buy long, and then click confirm. And uh, now we have a market order waiting to get um, triggered up at 14,000. So under conditional here, you will see three positions right now waiting to get triggered. But of course, I don't want these to get triggered. These were just for um, showing you. So we can just click cancel all confirm and there you go now we don't have any of these orders so all right many people are wondering also how do we use the trailing stop well we now have this position open here uh, this short position and let's say we want to make a trailing stop loss well if we click trailing stop usd here and if we put in uh, 200 dollars here for example this means that from the best market price, pulling back $200, this will trigger a market stop loss order. Let me just show you. If we go up like this, we have a price. Well, if we have a trailing stop loss at $200, this means that as soon as the price reverses $200 from the uh, highest point here, we will trigger a stop loss. So essentially, the highest point is always where this will be calculated from. So if the price continues to go up, then essentially this, uh, this, this will go up like this, and we will always measure $200 from that level. If we have a $500 trailing stop, this means that we will get a um, stop loss triggered at $500 from the highest market price here. So as soon as the price pulls back $200 to the upside here, we will uh, enter this stop loss and we will get stopped out, out of our position. We can click confirm. And here under trailing stop, you can now see our trailing stop loss at $200. And you can see here that our position is currently up 2.3 US dollars. Let's say we wanna take profits here. Um, if we wanna end exit right now, you can just click either market or limit. Uh, and I recommend that you use the limit order. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click market exit here because it's just easier right now. We click confirm and there you go. Now our position is gone. And when you use these US dollar tether linear contracts, you can in fact open up a long and short position at the same time and you can effectively hedge your positions. So for example here you can adjust your leverage on this long position and on the short position you can adjust as, as well here. You click confirm. So with this linear contract here let's say we want to uh, buy 0.01 Bitcoin here. We just click buy and then we click confirm. Now we have an open long position here with this linear contract and we can uh, in fact do the exact same with a short position and now we have a long and a short open at the same time which is unique for Bybit. Usually you cannot do this on derivatives exchanges. You can of course use the Bybit uh, chart here, but I always recommend that you go over to uh, TradingView and use this chart instead. I have a link down below to the basic one. It's actually free. 
Uh, I suggest you use at least the pro version of TradingView. Currently, I'm using the premium because I think that you get such amazing value from this. And guys, if you think that this video is very helpful so far, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure to make this button blue. Blue is a much more colorful and amazing color than gray. So click this, make it blue. Thank you so much. All right, but over here we can see this mutual insurance. What does this mean? Well, we can click mutual insurance right here. We can here minimize risks and make up for losses, ensuring profits by insuring your earnings. Let's click learn more. The mutual insurance function is a way to hedge yourself against market fluctuations. So if anything, this is a risk management tool for for traders on Bybit. The alternative is to use stop loss, take profit, or open hedged positions. But when you use a stop loss or a take profit, you are exited out of your position. Basically, you won't lose more money, but also you cannot gain more money because you exited your position. So mutual insurance works in the way that if the market moves against you, you will be compensated. However, if the market moves up, you will still be rewarded. So what are the benefits here of this uh, mutual insurance? Well, you can choose insurance duration, two hours, 12 hours, 48 hours. So the payoff is much higher in the event that the market moves massively against traders' positions. Bybit offers two hours, 12 hours, and 48 hours protection. Given the notorious volatility of crypto, it is much better to use mutual insurance over stop loss as users payoff is much higher in the event that the market moves against a trader's position. And the price of having this insurance is uh, very competitive and the insurance premium depends on the market conditions. And when should you buy this insurance? Well, if you are looking for short term protection, this is when you should use this. So you can insure your contracts essentially here with a premium. So it's a, uh, it's a uh, insurance premium. But long story short here, guys, you're securing profits in an uptrend and you're receiving compensation in a downtrend and you're paying more premium for this but this is the mutual insurance but this is something that only Bybit has this is a very very innovative way um, for for trading Bitcoin and other altcoins and I think that Bybit is truly separating themselves from the uh, the others by uh, offering these types of very very unique and innovative features so what are the different coins we can trade here well if you go up here we can trade Bitcoin against the US dollar we can trade Ethereum EOS and XRP all of these are inverse perpetual so they are coin margin we can also trade bitcoin against the us dollar tether and ethereum chain link here litecoin and tezos and there are not many exchanges out there where you can trade chain link and tezos using um, margin trading if you click promotions up here you can get to the rewards hub this is where you can get some uh, bonus after you signed up to bybit and the referral program down, down here is for anyone who wants to refer people over to bybit and make some money off of that in commission the affiliate program is for people that have some established channel like a youtube channel or instagram then you can apply for the affiliate program and something that i love about bybit is if you go up here you can click exchange Let's Let's say we want to exchange Bitcoin to some Tether so we, we can go and trade the um, other um, linear contracts. Let's say we want to sell one Bitcoin, we click get quotation. And look at this, the trading fee is very, very, very low. I think Bybit is completely changing the game here. You cannot do this on BitMEX. You cannot do this on any other exchange that I know of uh, that are doing these derivatives trading. So click convert USDT, click confirm. And there you go. I just got 1300 US dollar tether so I can use these for linear contracts now. And if you want to deposit fiat, they just announced a fiat gateway here. If you click fiat deposit, you get over here. You can buy Ethereum, USDT or Bitcoin. Just click an amount of um, fiat, let's say 100 uh, US dollars or let's say um, Canadian dollars and here you have the different options that you are getting presented with. So what is the difference here between cross and isolated margin? Well 
when you're using all isolated margin here, let's say 5x, 10x, you can only lose as much as you used for this specific position. When you use cross margin, you're basically using all of your equity for this position, which is good if you want to avoid liquidation, but remember that all of your equity will be used, which means that you can lose all your equity if the price moves too far from your position. I think in most cases it is recommended to use isolated margin because then you have better risk management. You know exactly how much you're risking for every single trade. But if you are experienced and you know what you're doing, then cross margin can also make a lot of sense in many cases. A nice feature that I like also is this little calculator up here. You click the calculator and let's say we want to uh, try to uh, calculate a long position here. We want to make a uh, leverage of uh, 10x leverage. We want to buy $1,000 worth of contracts and we want to buy at uh, let's say um, $14,000 and we want to close at 15,000, then we can see that our ROI will be 66% approximately. And if we want to see where the liquidation price will be, we can do the same here. Let's say we want to do a 15x leverage, quantity of 1,000 contracts, and we want to enter in a long position at um, 13,000. Then we can see that the liquidation price will be down here at 12.2. Very, very important to always um, be aware of where your liquidation price is. Have a stop loss above that price so you don't get liquidated you should you should always be stopped out before liquidation and let's talk a little bit about the competitors Femix is by far the biggest competitor to Bybit. Femix is very similar to Bybit. It has a few different features that Bybit does not have. One of the biggest ones is the sub accounts feature. And if you want to learn how to trade on Femix and how to use the sub accounts feature, go and watch my Femix tutorial. It is by far the most popular Femix tutorial on YouTube and on the internet. You can just go over to my channel, you can search for it on YouTube, or you can just click the card popping up on top of the screen right now and if you want to sign up to Femix right now I do have the link down below this video you can get $200 bonus the other competitor is BitMEX and uh, I don't recommend BitMEX to anyone BitMEX they require KYC they will ask you a bunch of questions not to mention the system overloads which makes sure that you cannot make a trade in a volatile moment so uh, there is no reason anymore to trade on BitMEX. I suggest Bybit to anyone who's looking for an exchange. And if you're looking for something else than Bybit, then I think Femix is your best bet. If you want to look for a new up and coming exchange, Dudex could be your exchange. You can get $300 bonus on Dudex if you click my link down below. But these are the three biggest competitors, Dudex, BitMEX and Femix. And if you have to choose one of them, I would go for Femix. All right, let's talk about the Bybit fees. First of all, the Bybit fees are low compared to other exchanges, but they are very similar to most of the other ones. We can see the exact same fee structure as over on BitMEX and FEMEX and most of the other big ones. Uh, on the Bitcoin inverse uh, perpetual, we can see you can up to 100x leverage and the maker's rebate is minus 0.0. .0 to 5% and the taker's fee is 0.075. So like I said earlier in this video, you can get a rebate for being a market maker and you have to pay to be a market taker. This is the same for all of these pairs here. And important to note is that this fee is calculated from the full position. So if you have one Bitcoin margin and you put up a 10X leverage, that means the full position is 10 Bitcoin. So the fee will be calculated based on 10 Bitcoin, which can be in your favor if you use this uh, limit order because you will get a rebate based on the, the full position which is very very valuable you can basically make money by trading if you are smart and uh, try to use the limit order as much as possible and I'm saying this because I care about you guys I want you to pay as little fees as possible very important actually if you use my link down below this video and if you always use the limit order then I will make zero money I will make nothing I only get commission when you use the market order but I am telling you right here don't use the market order unless necessary maybe in a very critical stop loss but 
as much as possible. Use the limit order because you want to reduce the fees as much as possible for obvious reasons. So I'm saying this guys because I care about you. I want you to be as profitable as possible while trading. And the other fee we have to talk about is the funding rate. Here you can see the next funding countdown in three hours and 40 minutes. This happens three times per day. And the funding rate is 0.01%. A funding rate is something that all of these derivatives exchanges need to have because we're not trading spot. We're not trading actual Bitcoin. We're just trading contracts or derivatives of Bitcoin. And to make sure that the price on the platform is close to the actual Bitcoin price, this funding rate is here to balance out the price. So for example, if too many people are going long at the same time, then the long positions have to pay for the short positions. And in this case, having a short position open will be profitable because you will get this funding rate paid to you. So the funding rate can be a fee, but it can also be a rebate, just like the market and maker dynamics. So if you go against the majority, you will get paid for doing so. And this is uh, to balance out because if everyone goes long at the same time, then the price uh, will not be uh, balanced. And we need this incentive when the funding rate is positive, the long positions will pay the short positions and the opposite when the funding rate is negative. So every eight hours, the funding rate will be triggered and you will get paid or you will have to pay depending on if you're long or if you're short. But this is always the longs and shorts paying each other. This is not a fee to buy bit. So I wouldn't really call this a fee. It is a funding rate. It's something different. And next up, we can talk talk about the Bybit app because they do have an industry leading app so you can trade with your phone. And this is very, very powerful because then you can trade wherever you are. And they have extremely advanced strategy alert functions and other charting tools here. And I'm gonna go quickly through them here. Here you have some print screens from the uh, Bybit app. And if we go down here, they have this strategy alert, which is amazing. So with this strategy alert function in the app, you can get breakout signals, you can get consolidation signals, trend following, and market heat signals. All of these alerts can be set up very easily within the Bybit app. So here you can see, here you can add it your alerts and you can see your strategy alerts. And this is how they will show up on your phone. You will see, for example, Bitcoin USD price cross is above 11,000 here uh, or you can also have Bitcoin USD price uh, moving average 20 is crossing above the 50 moving average. Very very advanced alert system from Bybit. If you feel like this video is valuable and if you want to share the message feel free to share this video on Facebook, on Twitter or you can also just copy this link and send this to family or friends. And down here in the trading view you can find enter chat room. You just create a nickname like this and then you click submit and now you will be able to start chat and now you can talk to people here and uh, maybe ask for some help or just to uh, talk about the market or whatever. And down here, you can even click here to share your current position. You can also see if people are long or if people are short. This is a very interesting and innovative feature from Bybit. And my review of the customer support is that it is actually outstanding. It is by far the best customer support that I've had to deal with in crypto. I have had the unfortunate experience to deal with BitMEX. They have bad service overall and it's just not a good platform. And over on Bybit here, when you click the chat down here to the customer support, you just click your name, your email, your phone number, and then your message here. They will get back to you very, very quickly. They will solve your, your issues. And if you have any questions about the bonus, if you have any questions about anything on Bybit, ask them. They are amazing. They will help you out. All right, so that marks the end of the tutorial segment of this video. Now let's get into the review. Is Bybit the best exchange out there to trade Bitcoin and altcoins? Well, first of all, who is behind Bybit? Uh, ben Zhu is the CEO of Bybit and he comes from the Forex market. He's been in Forex trading and now he entered into crypto and he started Bybit back in 2018. And very, very quickly, Bybit grew to become the biggest uh, and most popular exchange for derivatives trading in Bitcoin and it's already much much better than BitMEX and much better than most of the other competitors. We already know that BitMEX is um, 
while completely losing the ball, they are uh, they are mismanaging their customers. And on BitMEX, we very often see this order submission error where you cannot trade because too many people are trading at the same time. But Bybit can handle many, many more transactions per second, which means that Bybit does not get these order overloads. You can always use Bybit. And don't forget, if you do want to get this $200 bonus after depositing 0.2 Bitcoin, you need to click this specific link in the pinned comment or in the description. And the reason why we don't get any overloads here is because Bybit can handle 100,000 transactions per, per contract and they, have a, they claim they have a 99.99% availability and 100,000 transactions per second, that's much, much more than any other of the competitors. So here we can see Bybit has 100 transactions per second, Deribit 10,000 transactions per second, Bit makes only 500. So why would you use these exchanges when you can go to Bybit and get 100,000 transactions per second? It is the best exchange change out there if you want to trade smoothly and if you want to be guaranteed to always have a position open when you click buy or sell. And if you compare Bybit with its direct competitors, it is very clear that Bybit has many, many more features than anyone else. It is the most advanced trading platform for trading Bitcoin and altcoins. It has all of these different trading features. You have no overloads, which is amazing considering how, how many people are using this platform. It is literally one of the biggest ones right now and they still have no overloads the user interface is very very advanced but still good enough that beginners can actually understand it and the security is very very high 100 percent of the funds are stored in cold storage which means that your funds are safe no one can hack your bitcoin they are safely stored at bybit however not your keys, not your Bitcoin. I would never suggest that you keep your Bitcoin on Bybit for long-term storage. It should only be there for trading purposes. But if you are putting your Bitcoin uh, for trading purposes, then I do think that your Bitcoin are more safe on Bybit rather than many other exchanges out there. And the fact that Bybit has so many different risk management tools available that I talked about earlier in this video tells me that they truly care about their customers. They want you to be profitable. They want you to uh, limit your risk at all times. So make sure to use all of these different features, stop loss, uh, hedging, and insurance insurance. All of this is something that I talked about early in this video. Go down, check the timestamps if you want to learn more about these different risk management tools. So is Bybit safe to trade on? Well, in my opinion, yes. I've been trading there for more than two years. I feel like Bybit has always treated me very, very well. It seems like they care about their customers. So everything is stored via cold wallets. Withdrawals are checked via manual procedures and are processed three times per day. On BitMEX, you can only withdraw once per day. So this is a big difference between Bybit and BitMEX. And of course, they have two-factor authentication to make sure that um, you are really, really safe, that no one can steal your funds. Most other exchanges, they lie about their volume. They do watch trading and such. Bybit does not seem to do it because you can verify the volume by going over to other third parties like skew.com. And here you can see the actual Bybit volume. Bybit has also made it easy for you to connect TradingView with Bybit so you can log into TradingView and execute orders without leaving the chart. This is a game changer, which means that you don't have to go back and forth between the chart and the Bybit app all the time. So the Bybit API can be connected with TradingView, but also with Stacked, Three Commas, and BitCopy. Three Commas is a bot trading feature where you can create your own trading bot. If you wanna create your own trading bot, you can go down below into the description. I will have the link to Three Commas, which you can connect to Bybit here. And don't forget, if you wanna get this two $100 bonus, make sure to go down below this video into the pinned comment, click this specific link. You have to deposit 0.2 Bitcoin to get the bonus. And to get the full bonus, make sure to go over to promotions, click rewards hub. And here you can find all of the different tasks that you have to complete to get the full bonus. And sometimes they will launch different voucher codes where you can get special promotions. Make sure to go over to promotions here. And then you see voucher code. This is where you enter into your 
voucher code. So go down below this video right now and see if there is a voucher code. If you enjoyed this video so far, feel free to go down below this video and leave a thumbs up. If we can reach 4,000 likes, that would be amazing. I really appreciate that you watched this full video. If you have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down below right now. I will answer every single question that you have. If you go over to my Femix tutorial that I made a few weeks ago, I answered every single comment and I will do the same here. So leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are one of the few people in this world that still didn't take your finger and click this video, then do it right now. Click it right here and I will see you guys in the next video.